Hello, air signs. Welcome to your weekly reading. Okay, so we're in Leo season now. Yay. Uh, we just had Mercury, I'm not Mercury, Venus go retrograde in Leo. So what that means is we're going to be revisiting old relationships, old money issues, um, old things about ourselves. We want to go back and look at those and see how we can revise them. How can we come out of this feeling stronger, feeling more in control, okay? Using our willpower. So what we're going to do is we're going to do like we did last time. We're going to look at life overall, relationships. We're not going to look at love specifically because not everybody is in a relationship. Not everybody wants to be in a relationship. So we're going to look at relationships as far as like friendships, family members, lovers, that kind of thing, and then money. So first, we're going to get the overall energy. And please make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, and let me know how this resonates with you because I really do care about your journey and I love reading your comments, okay? So all right, so let's see what your overall energy is. And also make sure that you watch the weekly tarot reveal and the weekend tarot reveal because when you mix those with this reading, you get a lot more information to use for yourself, okay? Ooh, we have fifth house passion. Look at that. How perfect. Leo energy. <laughs> so what are you passionate about? What can you get passionate about? What do you want to create? All right, let's find out. What do we need to know for our air signs? All right, so the first card is going to be life overall. We have seven of roses, the journey. Second card is going to be relationships. We have five of roses, the garden. Okay. And then money. Eight of roses, community. Interesting. All the roses. <laughs> and that's funny because look at all the flowers there. That's so interesting. And what I noticed is I normally cut this deck in three and do it like a normal tarot deck. But for whatever reason, my body just automatically cut it in half. And I go with that when things like that happen because I feel like there's a purpose to it. And so it's, yeah, it's definitely interesting how we have all of these coming up. So let's start with the Seven of Roses. The journey. Well, when we're looking at life overall, this is talking about you're on a positive path, okay? Seven is a very spiritual number. So everything that you're encountering is part of your journey. And it seems as though you're on a good path. So let's see what the tarot wants to clarify that for. These readings have been really strong this week. I mean, they're getting stronger and stronger the more we do them. Because the more you watch these, the more your energy is going to connect and the stronger the readings get. All right, so we have, ooh, the lovers. And then we have the queen of wands. Look at that. So when we see the lovers, the lovers isn't about relationships per se. It's really not. It's about choice and consequence. It's about making the decision that you know is right for you. And the queen of wands, she is very intuitive. Okay. She's feeling good. She's feeling more energetic. She's Leo energy. She is, she's following that intuition and she knows that life is magical. She knows that she is magical. And every decision that you make, you want to use your intuition because it's going to take you down the proper path. Now, no path is wrong, per se. Everything's going to teach you something in the end, okay? It just depends on where you're wanting to go and how quickly you're wanting to get there. If you want to get there more quickly, then you've got to follow the, the intuition and the, make the decisions that are for your highest good, okay? So this is asking you, what are you passionate about and how, what choices do you need to make to get to where you're wanting to go? Now, when we're looking at relationships, we see the five of roses, the garden. So if you have children, this is a really good time for your children. There may be something that happens that's really good for them, 
or there's something between you two that is is going on it's not i'm not showing this as negative let's see what the cards have to say oh we have temperance nice two major arcana and we have the hermit in reverse interesting it seems as though there's something from the past that's going to be healed okay and that's what the five of roses indicates as well it's like something good some good positive change is going to happen now if you don't have any children then this is about you really connecting to your inner child okay it's not so much for you um I don't really, I feel like this is more of you looking back on the past situations, the past relationships, your past connections, and seeing how your inner child, like your wounded inner child, maybe playing into that. Maybe had, a let, you know, let that person in or let that instance happen to an extent, right? I mean, people are going to do what they're going to do. But it's allowing your inner child to heal, really learning from the past and coming into that balance by knowing exactly what it is that you want. You can also be looking at the past and reevaluating what you want in relationships and how you want someone to have fun with. You want someone to be creative and, and play, you know, play with, go explore and have adventures. Okay, so this is this is a really good energy for you. So this is really nice. Now the eight of roses. As far as uh, monies, we have Eight of Roses community. So let's see what that wants to say. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. And the Page of Cups. So if you feel like you've had some financial loss or things just aren't like coming to fruition like you want, this is asking you to really... Allow yourself to take time to meditate and think. You may have a new idea come in. You may have a new idea from another person, like somebody in your community that can help you. You want to network with the right people. You don't want to take advice from people that are not in the shoes that you want to be in. Okay, I see that all the time on social media where we see people talking about, manifesting money to be a millionaire blah, blah blah and they're in like they have a you know a bed sheet as their curtain and they're not they're clearly showing that they're not abundant they're not in the shoes that you're wanting to be in is what i'm trying to say okay it's not passing judgment it's just being aware of who you're interacting with okay so again when it comes to money if you feel like there's been some sort of financial loss maybe a job loss or something like that um, you're just wanting money to grow, there's going to be somebody that comes in and gives you a new idea or offers you a new position. That's a really good thing, especially with the eight of roses, because eight is all about abundance. Okay. So let's see what we need to know with Oracle. But this is really nice because it might give you the opportunity to connect your passion with your career. I'm just going to see if anything else. And you might have a child come visit you um, that they don't tell you. They just kind of show up. <laughs> and it's not a bad thing. I mean, they might need your help with something, but it just they might just come visit you. We have male in reverse. Now, we can look at this both ways. It says male energy, Mars. A man plays a role, divine masculine. So it's interesting how we have male in reverse. So we have the um, king of pentacles in reverse, right? So whenever he's in reverse or when the, the masculine energy is in reverse, it can be a bit destructive, okay? So how can you be constructive? How can you create... Uh, what you're passionate about how can you create something of beauty we have the venus uh, the venus we have venus in retrograde so this is all about you really reevaluating what you want to create in life what is your what are you passionate about where is your heart leading you 
how, like what changes can you make in your financial situation and in your relationships, okay? And then with yourself. So it's a lot about evaluating here. And the male energy is about action. So you need to know when to take action and when to hang back, okay? All about following that intuition, following that divine timing, paying attention to those little inklings that come to you. Ooh, we got this this morning in the TikTok Live. We got the crossing initiation. Mm-hmm. So this is you going into a new energy, a new opportunity. But you have to be the one that takes the steps. You have to be the one that, you know, is willing to leave that um, safety to go into this new experience. For one of y'all, you might have had somebody, a male who passed away, and he might visit you in a dream and give you an idea or show you something about career or creating something. Oh, we have a Enchanted Fern, Gr Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge. So when we see this card, I like this card. I like that one in Sanctuary. What we want to do is we want to create a life that we don't need to escape from, okay? That we don't need a vacation from, that we just are just trying to get through the days, okay? <clears throat> so when we see refu refuge as well, it's like with your home space for sure, how can we create that as a place of security, a place of beauty to where you feel like you come home and you're just, <sighs> you're at peace, but I also want you to see how you can do that in different areas of your life. Start with your home. We were talking about that this morning on TikTok Live about donating things that are just cluttering up your home that you really don't need and opening up the space to receive what you really do want, okay? And it's, it's just asking you, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Have fun with it. Explore. And if you have somebody come to you, they might just want you to listen. They might not want your advice. They might just want you to listen so they can vent. Um, you might feel like you don't know what to do, but it's just like, you know what, just be my soundboard. And you might just need to hold space for them, okay? Or it might be a situation where an issue is resolved between you and them, okay? I just, I just have to throw out whatever comes to me as I'm shuffling. So here we have speaking your word, voice. Isn't that interesting? We know that voice is vibration. Vibration is creation. What are you speaking about? What are you talking about constantly? That is creating, okay? So if there's something that you are passionate about, the, the voice is putting it out there in the ether. So make sure you're speaking in a positive manner. Make sure you're speaking as a creator instead of a destroyer. Make sure you're creating things that you do want, not things that you don't want. Things that have happened in the past, we're done over it. We got to move forward. We cannot sit there and dwell on the past. And that's not me just saying, hey, just get over it. But you do have to be able to move forward. At some point in time, you, you've got to decide to let things go and move forward. It doesn't mean that what happened in the past is okay. It just means that you're no longer going to let that live in your life rent-free. You're no longer going to let that be a hindrance to you. Okay? You got bigger and brighter things ahead of you. And we can see it in this reading. Ooh, Earth Guardian. We just got this for the Earth signs. Stay rooted and grounded. 
always taking care of your energy, doing what is necessary, paying attention to your health, grounding your energy, meditating, protect, protecting your energy with a white light, all the things that you know you should be doing. <laughs> okay. So, all right, my dears, I hope this resonates with you. Please comment, like, share, all the things. It just helps the channel. Also, don't forget about our August monthly masterclass coming up on 26th, this Wednesday, okay? All links and everything are in the description. Um, the final tarot class is starting on September 5th, so don't forget about that. But if you need anything, I'm always here, okay? I hope you have a wonderful week, and let me know how this resonates with you, okay? All right, I'll see you next time.